Here's how I would go about getting a job in sports design. What's up everyone, if you're new to the channel, my name's Daniel, I am a graphic designer for the American Ultimate Disc League, that's the AUDL professional ultimate. I've been at this job for almost five years now, but it really wasn't that long ago that I was at the same spot that a lot of you are in right now. Hopefully this video will provide you with some actionable steps you can take to get you some more opportunities in the future. So step one is just to get good at it. Unless you're in the position where maybe you're a college student majoring in graphic design, you have an opportunity with your athletic department, that's all well and good. But if you're like me and didn't start designing until after school, you are probably going to be at a loss for those immediate college internship opportunities. Opportunities. I mean, honestly, I think that's a great way to learn if you can get your foot in the door early on and have like a mentor or have a job that you're kind of learning through. But I guess if you had a job, you wouldn't be watching this video anyway. So yeah, I stand by that. Get good at designing before you start casting your job searching net. The best way to get good at it is just to watch a lot of YouTube videos, but make sure you're practicing a ton as well. So for me, it was super helpful to open up a YouTube tutorial on some cool sports design or specific effect, and then I would also also have Photoshop open in another window and kind of go back and forth between the video, pausing it, rewinding it. I think that's something that's getting lost a little bit in today's world of social media because of all these short form videos. You've probably seen these like quick, you know, 10 to 30 second tutorials on doing a very specific thing in Photoshop, but unless you're like at your computer practicing the effect for yourself, you're probably not going to internalize it. So watch YouTube videos, but watch them the right way and make sure you're practicing a ton alongside them. Now, if you're not not sure if you're good at it yet, the thing you can do is just look at what other graphics are out there circulating on different team accounts, league accounts, see what other professional designers are putting out there, and then think about your own graphics and if they can stack up to what's currently being posted by top college teams, pro teams, whatever, then your graphics are probably good enough and you should be actively job searching. Obviously, you don't have to be the top, top tier graphic designer in a certain field, but if you're seeing different sports designs that all just seem a, a significant step above what you can create, or if you're looking on the social channels of a team that you wanna work for and maybe their graphics are already like way better than anything you can do right now, then chances are you still have a ways to go until you can seriously get considered for an opportunity like that. Once you feel like you're at the point where you can be a professional designer, make a portfolio. You can make a portfolio on Behance, which is a great tool. You Maybe you have a personal website. At the very least, post your stuff to social media, on Instagram, wherever people can see a good sampling of your best work. Having a strong portfolio is really what these jobs come down to. It doesn't really matter if you studied graphic design in college or have a formal education of any kind, or even if you like don't have much work experience, what matters is the stuff that you can produce and the best way to show case that stuff is through a portfolio. So as someone that's looked to hired graphic designers over the years, Portfolio is like the number one thing that I want just out front. Give me a link, something I can click through. Ideally, it has a variety of projects as well, which we'll get into. But let's move on to our third step. So once you're good at it, once you have your portfolio, the third step is that when it comes to targeting potential job opportunities, start small. Reach out to like minor league teams, semi-pro teams, maybe smaller leagues, even like individuals, low-level influencers that maybe need graphics. There's also a variety of blogs and sports websites out there, fantasy sites. There are lots of different media companies that will want to create graphics to go with their articles or to go with their posts on social media. You're not gonna be designing for the NFL or the NBA from day one. You really have to kind of work your way up to get into that territory. I'm not even there yet and, and that's okay. There's a few ideas behind starting with smaller organizations, smaller teams. They might have openings for a graphic designer or a creative intern of some kind or even a creative director but maybe they just don't have the time or resources to actually like start that job search process. So you never know what happens if you just reach out cold to a company. Ideally, you can track down some person in that organization or on that team, like a general manager or an owner or an editor. And then kind of a sub tip within this step is that it's a big bonus when you have other things you can offer besides strictly design. So it's funny, I come from a marketing background and all of my design jobs did did not start out as design jobs. I initially started working part-time with Pro Football Focus in 2016. That was a job that was pretty strictly data collection. That then evolved into a data analyst position, and then that led to putting that data together into graphical presentations, which is really the start I had in graphic design. And then even my current job with the AUDL, 
was not really hired for strictly my graphic design ability. It was a marketing position. It was going to require a lot of communication with teams and a sort of consulting role. And graphic design was just one component of the job. So it's almost the ideal situation if you can get a job where graphic design is just part of what you do. And that way you can kind of practice and improve your craft in the context of your greater job responsibilities. So instead of continuing to job search and then also practicing graphic design just on your own, you kind of practice within the organization work your way up as a designer, and that will of course lead to more opportunities in the future as well. Now along those similar lines of having a variety of things you can offer an organization, expand your design capabilities. That's step number four. If you're just starting in sports design, maybe you've seen some cool graphics out there on social media. You just wanna make like cool looking player posters and see if there's a career in that. I can almost guarantee if you are hired as a graphic designer, you're gonna have to do a lot of other types of design work. So things like layout design, you know, game programs, magazines, presentations and slide decks, designing for print like business cards, posters, t-shirts, illustration, logo design. There's all these different elements within the greater sports design field that you may not know about, you may not have been working towards, but the more of that other stuff you can get good at as well, the stronger your portfolio is going to be and the more you're going to stand out among other candidates. And as you're building your portfolio, there's something to be said for kind of anticipating the types of graphics that an employer might look for. So if you're applying to all these different teams as maybe a social media manager, maybe a social media graphics person, put together like a complete set of templates all with in the same style or look. Maybe you do like a full rebrand of what they're putting out currently. Or better yet, maybe you take their current style and expand that out to other graphics that they're not currently posting. Any way you can show that you have the ability to either create from scratch or build off the existing branding, that's just gonna make your portfolio that much better and make you that much more well-rounded as a designer. Expanding your design capabilities also goes beyond graphic design in general. Maybe you get into photography, videography, maybe motion graphics, video editing. Companies are often looking to hire these all around creatives. That is kind of the general direction I'm seeing the sports world go. So even things like copywriting, social media management, writing articles for a company's site, all that stuff might be combined with a graphic design job, especially as you target these smaller companies. My fifth and final tip is to never stop practicing. Until you're fully confident in all of your abilities and you've expanded out to all the different areas within design, there's probably always something you could be working on to get better at. So again, see what else is out there on social media, on websites, even on environmental signage and banners you might see at a stadium. So even as you're job searching, make sure you're still practicing. It's only gonna get you that much closer to landing that ideal job. Hope this video was helpful. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch. If you got any value from this video, it'd mean a lot if you could give it a like, maybe subscribe to my channel. I've got a lot of sports design tutorials up right now. I plan on doing plenty more in the future across a wide range of sports creative areas. And if you have any specific designs or portfolio you want me to check out, feel free to send it my way. It might take a while for me to get to you and I can't guarantee I will get to everyone, but I am always happy to provide feedback when time permits. Reach out to me here, reach out to me on Instagram. Thanks again for watching and let me know if videos like this are helpful as opposed to just straight up sports design tutorials still feeling out exactly how I want to build this channel and how I can be the best resource to you all. So let me know. I'm always open to suggestions.